Don't shoot me, I'm not that good. <laughs> Too late. Mm. Yes, you got a new hairstyle. You got rid of this girl. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I told her I like you. Right. I'm going to give him some knees right quick. Yeah. What's that? Uh, let's see. I hope we have some left. You gotta just go by the table. Everything's by the table right now. So how are you gonna move down to Georgia? Was that it? No, I, I went down there and visited it. Okay, I think we'll move down there. How are you doing? She is a... You're making them fat burgers. You missed the octopus hot dog. They had legs. Oh, here's one. Here's one. See what an octopus hot dog is. She has legs. <laughs> that's good for. That's good for Phil. Can't tell if it's a boy or a girl though.
as they have climbed the Cub Scouting Trail together. This Weeble of Scouts is now ready to gain to go into the great brotherhood of Boy Scouting. With the help of his willing parents, he will soon start up the Boy Scout Trail. The seven candles here before you represent the ray of the arrow of light. As they are lit, you will hear how they stand for the seven great virtues of life. Wisdom doesn't mean that a person is smarter than others. It means that he uses what he knows to live a better life. Second candle is courage. Courage does not mean you have no fear of danger. It means that you can face danger despite your fear. Third candle, self-control. This means being able to stop when you've had enough of something, such as eating, playing, or even working too much. Fourth candle is justice. Justice means being fair with others we play and work with, regardless of who they are. Faith. Faith is belief in God and things we cannot see but feel are true. And the sixth candle is hope. Hope means to look forward to the good things you believe will happen. You hope for better things tomorrow, but at the same time, you work hard today to make them happen. And the seventh one is love. There are many kinds of love. Love of family, home, fellow men, God, and country. Every kind of love is important for a full and happy life. by these seven virtues, you will be happier. It is now my pleasure to present to you and your parents your graduation start. At this time what I'm going to do is I've got <coughs> different awards that I've been promising these patches. And um, we have these patches that the boys can wear with their uniform. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call boys up by um, the activity that they learned or they participated in. And um, these dashes are for you to buy, but what I did is I picked them up at the scout shop. They're $4.90, this way you don't, you don't have to make a trip down by yourself. So, Mr. Boback, our new cub master for this year, um, will have them available. I, I bought 13, that's all they had, and I'm sure next time he goes down for any other awards, He'll pick them up and you can give him the $4.90 for the sashes. Uh, okay, Evan Anderson. Oh, yeah. 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 That I made an error with the hay rock. Jordan. Hey. Brian, you're some big bird. Brendan. <laughs> 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 
Justin. 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 Boys, quiet. Meet me, Alex. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. 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 That's in the Okay, I got it now. Okay. Hey, Dad, come here. What? Come here. <laughs> 